continuing our discussion of assembly language, we're going to look at our program and we're going to see what happens if I overflow my little buffer. So we said previously that I was allowed nine characters. Well, I'm going to add a few to that. Go ahead and say OK. I'll go to my debugger, restart, and I will run until my breakpoint. So here I'm at my breakpoint. I'm about to copy this value into my local variable. And then I have my second value of 1122344. I'm going to move values around. Here I'm moving 4 into EAX. And then I am going to point at this string. So this is pointing at the string that I passed in on the command line. And that value is now in EAX, the location of it. I'll trace again and I'm getting ready to call my function, function, function. So when I call it, I have my preamble as before. I push my EBP. You see the value on the stack. I move the stack pointer to EBP, and then I subtract 3.8, because now I have some data to send. Namely, I have this huge string here. So I've subtracted that value. The first thing I'm going to do is move function function onto my stack. So if I trace, you'll notice that I've done that. Now I'm going to move my value of FFEEDDCC. That has also been put on. So here is my function function. Here's my other value. This other space is going to be used for this massive string. So I will step. And notice that now we have on our stack this guy. And now I am going to make that call to stir copy. So I'm making my call to stir copy. Go ahead and jump into this and we'll see how this works. So I'm going to push some values that I'm going to use, namely EDI. It's been pushed onto the stack. And now a value is going to be moved to EDI. Here it is, 22FF20. And it's the memory location for this function. I will keep on going. I am slowly consuming this value in ECX as I go along. And I'm ready to return. So now I'm back in my method. If I jump again, I moved my return value of one here and I'm ready to call leave. Now what I'm going to find is there might be a little bit of a problem. I might have just overwritten a return address. So as I step, I have a potential problem. Now one thing you need to be aware of is right here, notice what happened. Access violation when reading this address. What's happened here is I have overwritten part of my stack. And in particular, I have overwritten the part where there was a return address. So in some future videos, we'll talk more about this at length. And we'll talk about how you can overwrite things in the exact right way in order to cause some mayhem. 